are new here, my name's Marina. What? I forgot my intro. Oh no, hold on. Hey, what's up, y'all? If you're new here, my name's Marina. <laughs> Today's video, I'm doing some massive cleaning with me. I'm just gonna go ahead and warn you, if you have a weak stomach, pass up this video. If clutter triggers you, if mess triggers you, pass up this video. I'm gonna miss you. I wish you could stay, but I totally understand because it triggers me too. That's why I'm getting on it, doggone it. Spilled food, clothes laying in the floor, things like that. If any of that triggers you, I, I get it. It triggers me too, which is why I'm doing the daggone thing today. So I just wanted to throw that in there. Y'all know I like to do trigger warnings uh, before I show all of this because this is old school Marina. Uh, Marina's fell off the the wagon a little bit when it comes to cleaning. We went on a little mini vacay. Marina's been lazy. Well, Marina's priorities just haven't been straight. Marina's doing all the things. It's just she has nothing to show for it. So if that triggers you, then just, you know, know that it's, I just, I just want to let y'all know it's going to be bad. <laughs> it's going to be really bad. And I don't find it funny. It's just laughing is my coping mechanism. But I wanted to say something real quickly. Um, you, you guys know I don't do collabs a whole lot. And I get asked all the time why I don't do collabs. And it's because I have once promoted people I no longer promote. So I just now I'm very careful with who I collab with. That being said, a friend of mine, however, reached out to me. And we've been friends since the very beginning. I mean, we talk all the time. We support one another 100%. I support everything she does. She's doing amazing things over her channel. She reached out to me and was like, hey, Marina, you want to do this annual collab? Because we did one last year. And I was like, hey. Yeah, you know we gotta do it. Like, I don't do a lot of them anymore, but you know I gotta do it. She has stuck by me like glue. Her name is Mighty Mama here on YouTube, but her actual name is Laura. And she sent me a few clothes, and she didn't ask me to review them or nothing. You guys know I don't do sponsorships. She literally sent them to me out of the goodness of her heart. But I had to show you guys these because I talked with her, and I was like, you know what? She has a t-shirt shop. I was like, you know what? You ought to put some of these shirts on your t-shirt shop because people are asking for fearfully created stuff all the time. And I was like, you should do that. And that way, you know, I don't have to get merch because I don't want merch. But the fact that she had made these for me and thought of me, I was like, my people would probably like those too. So... She does have a YouTube channel. Her channel will be linked down below. But she does a lot of uh, depression cleaning, anxiety. I think she has ADHD. Um, she does a lot of cleaning like that. She shows real life mess, y'all. So if you need cleaning motivation, don't walk run over there. But she also has an Etsy shop for t-shirts. And her t-shirts are so stinking cool. You guys know I don't do sponsors, don't do brand deals or anything. So, because I'm promoting her, because I support my friends. So because I don't do sponsorships, you guys know I don't do brand stuff, don't do sponsorships, nothing like that. Don't promote brands or anything. I support my friends because I didn't buy this with my own money. It was gifted to me and I'm telling you guys about it. Like I always say, if I think it's worth your money, it's definitely worth mine. So over here on the side, you're going to see me making a purchase on her Etsy shop because I want to support her. I think she's doing great things on YouTube. I think she's got awesome messages over on Etsy. So here I am making my own order because if it's worth your money, it's worth mine. <laughs> she's doing great things over there. Her channel's booming. That's awesome. I'm so happy for her. Anyway, on to the video. About to show you some befores. So I'm going to go room by room. Go and try to tackle this whole house. But let me just tell you, my stamina right now will not match my stamina in six hours. Which is when I need to have this video done. By. Spoiler alert, my stamina dropped. <laughs> and this video is going to be in parts because Vlogmas. So in this part, I'm going to be doing some of it. And then tomorrow, you guys will see part two. Next day, part three. However many parts it takes to get this whole daggone trailer cleaned. So we're going to get as far as we're going to get. <laughs> we're going to do the daggone thing. It might be partially dumb but it's gonna be at least a little done. <laughs> Remember, my house is a mess, y'all. I'm a very messy person by nature. Um, I don't, it's not that I just try to be, it's just how it happens. <laughs> I'm just kind of flying by a lot on the seat of my pants. Let me start on that end of the trailer and we are going to do it all the way to that end. In parts, that is. All right, so here's the bathroom situation. I have to mop the bathroom floors. I have to wash the uh, bath mats and everything because somebody flooded the toilet. Dookie water went everywhere. So I've got to wash those. I'm going to throw those in the washer. Also, I don't know why a shirt's in here. I don't know why a shirt's in here and tools are in here and a plunger's sitting in a trash can. Don't mind the toilet. It is gross as always, but there's tools in here for some reason. Plunger in a trash can. There's a whole bunk bed. There's trash bags. 
What the heck? Usually I don't like showing y'all the toilet because you know we have we have irritable bowel syndrome in this house. It gets kind of gross, but it it ain't it ain't too bad this time. So I went ahead and showed y'all. But let's get the daggone thing done. I can't even open the door because that bunk bed. We need to get that bunk bed put up ASAP. I did want to mention that whenever I told her that I would be sharing these shirts that she was nice enough to give y'all a 15% off code. It's fearfully created 15 and that'll give you 15% off of whatever you order over there. Also, if you order by the 8th, you'll get your order by Christmas with regular shipping. So, heck yeah! Not only is there this wolf <laughs> fearfully created aesthetic shirt, but there's also Mobile Mansion uh, hoodies. She took my say in Mobile Mansion and she put it on a hoodie. I think it says like Mobile Mansion Queen. There's a Mobile Mansion King with a beard on it in honor of Shane. There's Trailer Park Royal Royalty. There's all kinds of things over there, so be sure to go check it out. Yes, my washer here in a minute. You will see how disgusting it is. I'll get to it when I get to it which hopefully is tomorrow this off before I spray this on it somebody gets a burn up honey hole because that's all I'm going to need. Also this ain't dookie it's just paint because I'm a messy painter and glue. I don't know if you can use this. I really hope you can't see Dookie Splatters but from there. But I don't know if you can use this on the inside of the toilet. It says dish spray. Toilet bowl dish spray. <laughs> if it cleans your dishes good enough to eat, it must clean your toilet good enough to use. That's the philosophy we're going by. Come on. Okay, okay. I have a Clorox soap in the other bathroom. I just don't feel like, oh, that's not left over, by the way, that stain. I just don't feel like going to get it. I never did that when we did the bathroom makeover. I never cleaned out the books. So it's weird. All 
There we go. I'm gonna use this on the floors with a rag. I don't know if this is gonna work on the floors. It says it's just disinfectant. So I'm just gonna use this because I don't have a separate mop head. I need to get a new mop. So I'm gonna hand wash it. And then I'm gonna spray the handle too. Just to get it real good. And then I need to empty this trash and we'll be on. All right, yo, that's done. Heck yeah, it's done. I'm letting all the toxic fumes go out the winter um and here in the video this week probably i'm planning it out right now but i'm going to go through my house and do little home updates like little details and kind of show you guys that to give you motivation to tackle the little things in your home because the little things add up a lot like caulking because i forgot to caulk when i did this and vent covers baseboards paint and like you know the doors things that you wouldn't normally think to do or that you dread doing because they're little and you feel like it don't really make a difference, it does make a difference, trust me. And I'm going to show that to you guys in a video, how much of a difference it really makes. So bathroom's done, we're going to keep moving to the other side of the trailer. So the next room is the boys' room. Okay, so I've got their sheets in the washer right now. I put them in whenever I put the rugs that I threw in the bathroom in there. So I need to get new sheets on there. Their bedroom's really messy. I had Colton come in here and tackle the underneath the beds earlier. This isn't really Colton's fault. It's hard with the boys' room. The girls' room gets tackled by the girls, and I only come in maybe once a month and do like you know the vacuuming around the perimeters, the washing down stuff, all that stuff. In here, it's harder because this isn't Colton's mess. Colton cleans his room every single day. Every day. You guys know the situation. Um, I, I gotta help him with this room a lot. Because a lot of times it's not him that's doing the messing. So we're just gonna get it looking good. We're gonna get new fresh sheets and blankets on the beds. Well, hi. Hi there. Well, hi there. <laughs> we're gonna get fresh sheets on the bed, ain't we? We gonna? We gonna? And then I need to, you know, pick up some stuff. I may... May declutter? Are we doing a declutter? Are we starting a declutter in midway in a video? I think we're gonna. Because it's getting close to Christmas. Yeah, we're definitely doing that. Okay, let's go.
I added these little baskets here in a minute, those black ones. I added those to it just to keep things separated because often on this shelf, things can just get thrown on there. So I've got like one little basket for Colton's not important Pokemon cards. His other important Pokemon cards are in like this binder that we got him. And then another one is for his little doohickeys he keeps for his Pokemon stuff, like little papers that he marks off all the Pokemon that he has and stuff like that. And then down on the bottom shelf, it's Cammy's little figurines. Cammy collects anything Peppa Pig, anything Ryan, and stuff like that. And their Legos is in the bottom bin as well. That way it just kind of keeps it all together, but it's organized. And then here in a minute, I bring Colt in here, and Colt helps me. Colton's currently messing around with the camera he's trying to be my cameraman that's why I, it was going crazy but i brought colton in so that he could help me go through their things and figure out what it is they wanted to donate and what they wanted to keep and we were able to keep the stuff that we keep out in the room to a minimum which we got rid of three bags i think it was three big garbage bags of toys we're going to donate those and then we didn't touch the closets i'm going to do all the closets in a separate video because there's so much to our closets all three of them are packed full but we were able to minimize the toys that were inside of the room itself and that was exciting for not only me but for colt too because when we got done he looked around and he was like oh my lanta i got all this room now mama <laughs> So we decluttered. We got two bags of trash and two big bags of toys that Colton's wanting to donate. Colton's wanting to donate them, so we're going to donate those. He got rid of a ton of toys, y'all. I mean, a ton of toys. We were able to get it down to, like, I'm going to show you. Of course, Colton has his... Um, his closet that he keeps all his important toys in. Colton has to keep a lot of his, his important toys down in the closet. Um, but we were able to limit the toys that were out and about, which I'm super excited about. It makes this room being clean. Colton does a really good job cleaning it. He really does. But it does need a mama clean every now and then. Um, so, like, whenever it's clean like this, it gets me really excited to work on it. And we're going to start it this week. It's going to be in parts because of Vlogmas. But we're going to be able to do his makeover in parts. So, it'll probably be in three or four parts because it's going to be a relatively huge makeover. We're changing the floor. Of we're putting new drywall up um, all of that stuff so let me show you what we've done to get it tidied up and get it prepared for the makeover this right here is Cammy's bin of he has the 12 inch figures he loves collecting those so he has quite a few of those this one's Cameron's bed and this one's Colton's bed in the makeover they're also getting a new new beds um, we tried this it worked I mean, out oh well, yeah it's one bed but like well like it's a bunk bed <laughs> but we tried this and we really liked it they love these beds these beds are good quality cammy has already broke his but um like they're they're pretty good quality so we are not cameras because this broken i don't want to give it to anybody broken um unless you know i tell them like hey you well, know this is broken maybe you can maybe we're you can fix it but we're giving colton's to our friend because he needs a bed right now and i was like hey we're getting a new bed do you need one and he's like heck yes so he's gonna be taking this one that's not broken 
I don't know if we'll be giving this one away. I don't know if we can fix it good enough to give away, but we'll, we'll see. Because it's, it's almost brand new. I mean, you guys know, they we did this a year ago. Like, this makeover a year ago. It's only been, like, this red color and stuff for a year. We're getting rid of this black carpet. Because, as you can see, I just vacuumed. And it shows literally everything. <laughs> you walk on it and it shows it. So, we're getting rid of that. We had this over here. We've had this shelf for forever. It was gifted to me. Um, like literally when it was so literally a family heirloom. In my room. A family heirloom. <laughs> it was given to me the day I moved out whenever Shane and I got our first apartment and we have had it for this long and the kids can't break it because it's literally metal. <laughs> but Cole has his Christmas tree. We're going to do more to his Christmas tree this week as well. Um, but he's got his fan. He's like me. He can't sleep without a fan. His book of important Pokemon cards and his Funkos. And then his other Pokemon cards are down here in this basket. And then he has a Pokemon Tim. And then this right here is all his important paperwork and stuff for Pokemon. He likes to keep the little, like, boxes they come in and, like, the little list that they have. Because he marks off which ones he has. And then he has this Fortnite sticker book he's been working on for a while, filling it up with stickers. And then down here we got Legos and a Lego mat. We got a prepper. Where's Tater at? Go get Tater. They haven't seen Tater in a while. They got Legos right here. They got their Poppets and Cammy's Archie books. He loves the old, old, old Archie comics. So whenever we go to a used bookstore around here, it's called McKay's. We always pick him up some of those. He's got that and his Poppets down there. And then he loves some Poppet things. They really help with his, like, he, he just loves it. It calms him down. And then Cammy's minifigures are over here. He's got Ryan figures, Peppa Pig, which is his favorite, Sonic. All his favorite little figures are right there. And then that car is important to Colton because Nanny got it for him. And then this is Colton's bed. Colton has all his stuffed animals over here. He collects. I may be a grown kid, but I still love my stuffies. That's just fine. <laughs> he still has his little fur rail. He loves these things. He This one's name is what, Colton? I named it Tracy the Triceratops. Tracy the Triceratops, and that's Dinah the Dinosaur. Um, and he's got, like, his Furbies. He he loves stuff like that. So, he's got his little area over there with those. And then one of his Megazords is over here. The other one's in the closet. We just can't fit that one in the closet right now. It definitely needs a door makeover, but it, it needs a whole bedroom makeover. So, I'm really excited to, like, get this tackled and maybe you know doing it a more neutral color which is what colt wants buffalo plaid oh, yeah we'll, make, we'll do a buffalo plaid we'll wall keep the, we can make this a white door and then uh buffalo plaid wall uh, i'm hoping doing that like it it won't look as messy because right now with the red they love the red it's both colton and kami's favorite color i know a lot of people mentioned you know autism and red autism is different for every child kami in particular gravitates towards red it doesn't stress him out but i'm hoping that having a neutral color in here will make it not look as messy because if there's things on the floor in here and you walk in here it automatically looks 10 times more cluttered because the color is so bright and there's so many things going on the wall you can see like it, it automatically looks way more dirtier than it actually is don't get me wrong it's always dirty but you know what i mean so we're going to be doing something more neutral yet something that they both colton has given me his notes he's told me hey this is what i want done because you guys know i don't do anything to my kids domain their areas without them wanting me to if he wanted hot pink walls and a yellow ceiling i would do hot pink walls and a yellow ceiling because that's what he wants in his area this is his area um this is his safe place this is where he keeps all his things so he has control over that so he's told me a list of what he wants in particular in his room and i my job is just to make it happen ain't that right coat <laughs> all right so we let's get the daggone thing done we did the daggone thing so this will be part one of getting my house semi clean we're not doing a deep clean it's just my house is destroyed so it's taken me a few days to get it all cleaned up we started at this end of the trailer and in the next few days you guys will see in parts me making it to the other side of the trailer and then once we have a clean slate i'm gonna uh, i'm going to imply apply i'm going to apply the fly lady method and start all fresh i just have to do it in parts because of vlogmas any other time this would have been one whole video but with vlogmas and doing daily uploads i have to break it into parts i hope you guys are okay with that i love you guys i hope you have a blessed morning evening night whatever it is wherever you're at know that i love you but jesus loves you more and i'll 